question four. So this question is about the propanone's uh, related reaction. So in the figure 4.1, so we can see uh, it starts from this uh, propanone. Uh, it's undergo um, about four reactions. Okay, so for the first reactions, as you can see, uh, is uh, potassium cyanide and uh, this uh, hydrogen cyanide. Um, when we use these, we know that uh, it will undergo uh, nucleophilic addition. Um, so it will form this uh, uh, cyanohydrin. And uh, after that, uh, this uh, compound A uh, will form compound B. So if you look at the difference, so uh, it will be this part. So these uh, nitrile groups now is convert or is form the carboxylic acid. So we know that uh, this uh, nitrile must undergo hydrolysis. So the CN bond will break here and uh, it will the carbons here will form COOH, nitrogens will form ammonia. So uh, of course it needs water. Uh, eventually it will form this uh, this uh, compound B right with these two functional group and after that uh, the reaction tree uh, so as you can see from these uh, hydrogens with a square bracket so this is a reducing agent means the propanons now is undergo a uh, reduction uh, to form this compound C which is the alcohol and the uh, last reaction is uh, uh, with the 2,4 DNPH, uh, which to test the carbonyl groups. So of course the products will form the orange precipitate. Uh, so this is a general view about this uh, uh, figure 4.1. And uh, let's see what we can do uh, for this uh, mechanism. Uh, for this uh, reaction one, uh, again, is a nucleophilic addition reaction. Uh, completes the figure 4.2, show the mechanisms uh, for the formation of the compound A, the cyanohydrin. Uh, so this one, uh, because uh, the propanone and the cyanide ion is given, and uh, the lone pair and the charge also given, uh, what you need to do is uh, first uh, put the dipole on the this carbonyl group partial positive on the carbon partial negative on oxygen so second step you need to draw one arrow from the lone pair on the carbon okay point to the partial positive carbon in the propanol because uh, this is a site that will attract the nucleophile the cyanide here is a nucleophile which will now donates a pair of electrons to this partial positive carbon. After that, you need to draw one more arrow from the this uh, CO double bond, uh, point to this oxygen to show that the pi bond breaks and the two electrons will move to the oxygens to form the oxide here. Right, so uh, once you finish these two steps, then uh, you can draw this intermediate again because the CO double bonds break one of the bond break pi bond break so uh, now the oxygens will form oxide remember to put the charge negative here uh, so this oxide now will try to gain a proton so you need to draw one arrow from the lone pair on this oxide and point to this uh, hydrogen ion or proton uh, so after that it will form this uh, compound A uh, so this one uh, reactions we call nucleophilic addition because a nucleophile which is a cyanide is added to the propanone first part 2 explain why uh, a does not show optical isomerism. Okay, let's move back to A. Uh, in order to show optical isomerism, uh, it must be a chiral carbon there. Okay, so this carbon is not chiral carbon because uh, uh, 
this carbon it has uh, three hydrogen uh, these carbons cannot be caused only uh, with uh, two electron crowds or this carbon is linear right so only two groups and this carbon uh, is has a uh, three hydrogen also uh, is not a chiral carbon so all this cannot uh, how about this carbon okay this carbon you look carefully uh, because it's bonded to two methyl group so they are actually same group so means this carbon also not a chiral carbon so means compound A it has no chiral carbon so that's the answer uh, the central carbon in the A uh, uh, is not bonded to four different groups of atom so it will not show the optical isomerism part B suggest the reagents and conditions for reaction 2 Okay, again, uh, reaction 2 is a hydrolysis, as you can see here. Uh, the, these, uh, uh, these nitrile groups will undergo hydrolysis and uh, form this carboxylic acid. So in order to form this carboxylic acid, we must use an acid condition. So hydrolysis must, must happen under acid condition because the carboxylic acid spot. So very easy. You just put the uh, H2SO4 aqueous reflux. Uh, again, when we uh, try to hydrolyze something, okay, because it's undergo hydrolysis, so it takes times. Okay, so we need to use reflux. Part C. Reaction three is a reduction reaction. Construct an equations to represent the reaction three. Uh, use the hydrogen with square bracket to represent the uh, one atoms of hydrogen from reducing agent. Uh, let's move back to the diagram uh, so it's clearer. Uh, again, this is reaction three. Uh, we know that the propanon add two hydrogen. Uh, so it need to add uh, one hydrogen here on this carb uh, this oxygen, and another hydrogens on this carbon. Means one hydrogens. To this oxygen, then the, uh, and one carbon, uh, one hydrogen on this carbon, so total two hydrogen. Of course, the pi bonds will break, so eventually you will form this uh, uh, propane two O. Uh, it's a secondary alcohol. Uh, reduction of this uh, uh, ketone, uh, so it will produce a secondary alcohol. Okay, so therefore uh, we have this equation. Uh, CH3CO, CH3, the propanol, with the two hydrogen, uh, so it can form this uh, propane 2O, uh, the secondary alcohol. Okay, part 2, name CR, this one quite easy, uh, so it's propane 2O, as I told you. Uh, again, uh, the C is this one. Okay, so this. Uh, so this one is this uh, so first carbon second carbon okay third carbon the OH is bonded to second carbon so it's a propane 2O okay part D state what is observed in reaction 4 uh, so reaction 4 is the um, this uh, ketone the propanol with the 240 NPH uh, as you can see here reaction 4 24 dnph uh, now mixed with this uh, propanol so what you can see uh, so you will see this uh, red or orange precipitate okay something like this so you see this uh, red orange precipitate once the propanol uh, reacts with this uh, 240 nph e explain why feelings reagent does not react with propanol uh, Felix reagent is uh, used to react with the these uh, uh, aldehyde groups, and uh, it's a mild oxidizing agent. So propanol it cannot be oxidized. Huh? That's why Felix uh, reagents cannot uh, uh, react or oxidize ketone. Okay, part F. Compound A, B, C uh, can be distinguished using 
uh, infrared spectroscopy. So compound A, so uh, with these two functional group, B with these two functional group, C only uh, this uh, alcohol. So now let's look at this uh, IR spectrum. So from this IR spectrum, uh, you should know, uh, you should know, uh, this broad P, right, uh, broad uh, absorptions uh, is uh, because of the OH bond which in the hydroxyl. So uh, means, uh, means you can get from this, okay, this table, OH bond with the hydroxyl. So it's uh, from 3,200 uh, to 3,600. Right, so uh, it's fit here, right? Uh, so we know that uh, it must have some OH group there, uh, hydroxyl. And another very important part is this one. So you see uh, another absorptions around uh, 2,200 uh, something. Uh, so this one is for the nitro. Okay, see, 200 to 2,200 something. So this is for the nitro. Okay, so we know that uh, this IR spectrum uh, is uh, is for the this uh, compound A, right? Because compound A is has the OH and uh, this uh, nitro. Okay, so now uh, after we identify, then we can answer the question. Um, part one. Explain why absorptions at uh, 2850 to 2950 uh, are not useful to help to determine uh, which of the compounds A, B, C produce uh, uh, IR spectrum in this figure, 4.3. Uh, very easy. Um, if you check uh, the table, uh, this absorption range is for alkene means the CH bond. Uh, for all the ABC, the compound ABC, they all have the CH bond, see? Uh, so therefore, this is actually not the, the absorptions that uh, can uh, distinguish the uh, compound ABC. means it's not really a significant absorption used to distinguish this ABC. So now, uh, okay, that's the answer. Uh, Okay, all three compounds are they have the CH bond. Uh, that's the the uh, answer that's shown in marking scheme. And the last part, identify which compounds um, A, B, C, uh, A, B or C produce the IR spectrum in this figure four point three. So as I told you, it's compound A uh, because it show absorption at uh, two thousand two hundred to two thousand two hundred fifty. Um, wave number. Um, so indicates there is uh, this uh, uh, CN triple one, right? So uh, that's all. Thank you.